Hello everybody, the Supreme Emperor King here and welcome back to Von Julia and also welcome back to Nation States. So that means it is a very special day here in Nation States because there is a special event that happens every year on Halloween where zombies invade nation states all the regions all the nations now have zombies so as you can see right here von julia has a new chart showing that there are six million zombies currently in von julia starting to infect the world uh, starting to infect my nation and as you can see if we go to our region zombies have also infected all the nations in the region and if we go even further to the world zombies have infected the whole world as well so you're asking yourself asking me what is z day well there is a dispatch right here i'm gonna go ahead and upvote it talking all about z-day so don't panic while your nation will automatically be involved in z-day you don't have to actively participate and all effects to your nation due to z-day will be reversed once z-day ends so it's a isolated special event in nation states so what is z-day z-day also known as a zombie apocalypse is a, a special zombie themed nation states event the other special event is end day also known as nuke day but we miss that <laughs> so zombie themed nation states event where your nation is slowly invaded by zombies and you have various ways to react to this so how is z day played at the start of z day your population is counted as survivors and over time infection will spread slowly converting survivors into a zombies to access your zombie control page go to your nation's home page and click the biohazard symbol that looks like that. So when that happens, you are presented with three research options, each of which unlocks an active effect, which you can use once every 20 seconds. First option is to cure the zombies. Allows you to send cure missiles to other nations, which converts zombies back into survivors. Next, we have fight the zombies, which allows you to send anti-zombie squads to other nations, which convert zombies into dead zombies. And then we have embrace the zombies, allows you to send zombie hordes to other nations, which convert survivors into zombies. All right, so that's the basis of Z-Day. So if you go back to the main page, you can see that there is an extra option right here called zombie control and when you click into it it'll show you how many zombies you have and how many people slash survivors you have and we have an issue right here where we can choose what we want to do i've already chosen but i will go over it anyways so the issue that comes up is recent reports suggest that the dead are rising from their graves displaying aggressive flesh-eating behavior if allowed to bite a living individual such traits can pass to the victim causing them to to become a roaming zombie this may be von julia's darkest hour so as you can see we have those three options exterminate research and embrace so these are what it says one is always tempted to err on the side of compassion in these situations, hoping the infected might be able to be cured, says General Barack Wang, and that would be a terrible mistake. We must marshal the full force of Von Julia's military might against these undead abominations while we still have the ability to do so. So that's the option for exterminating the zombies. Next option. No, no, cries bespeckled science type Felicity Cummings. I know this looks bad, but these people aren't monsters. They're husbands, wives, brothers, children. Our efforts must go into researching a cure. A cure that could not only save Von Julia, but also our neighbors in the South Pacific. Working together with our fellow nations in is the only way out of this nightmare. So that's the research track. And finally, the third option. I'm going to just float something here, says political advisor Lachlan Krauss. What if instead of gunning down our infected or throwing money after a cure that may not even exist, we get on board with the zombie apocalypse? 
Oops. If we work with the zombies, not against them, maybe this needn't be so bad. Perhaps we can even figure out a way to sustain an undead population indefinitely. And that is the option to embrace the zombie horde. Basically just throwing yourself against the zombies. So I've decided to choose Research the Cure because this is the first introduction of Z-Day on my channel and I just wanted to keep it easy. So if we scroll down after choosing, it'll take about two hours, but it'll start a process where it'll start researching cure missiles. And as you can see, we've already waited long enough to have cure missiles version three. And as you can see right here, version four is currently being researched. Um, but once we have missiles research, we can go to other zombie inflicted nations and we can launch cure missiles at them. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go into the South Pacific. Let's go ahead and see if anyone's asking for cures. I think I need cures. Someone needs cures. I got you. Exo Pepsi. All right, so they have a lot of zombies, so we're gonna help them out. So right here, when you go to a nation, you will see somewhere that says, Cure Missiles, Super Weapon Ready. Let's go ahead and launch these Cure Missiles. And as you can see, Cure Missiles have been launched. There is a cooldown time when you shoot missiles, and it's about 20 seconds. And then on the other side, if you get hit with a Cure Missile, you also get a cooldown. And as you can see here, back down to zero, we can launch another Cure Missile as well. So we have cured twice. And as you can see, this number will go down when we cure again in seven seconds. All right, he's ready to be cured. Here we go. Boom, this number dropped. So that is how Z-Day technically works on the cure research side. So if we go back here, we can see that we have zombies and it's growing. So I can't send cure missiles to myself because that's not how it works. If we go to the South Pacific, just like the person that asked for cures, we go here and say, um, we would love some cure missiles to be aimed at us, please. So we're going to ask the South Pacific region community for some missiles to be shot at us. The only time when shooting missiles at my nation is a good thing. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we should be getting some cure missiles soon enough. So let's check if anybody else needs help. This one needs help. So we'll send a cure missile their way. We'll send another one soon. So like I said, this is the basis of this special event called Z-Day. This is the 11th Z-Day in Nation States. I know, right? 11 already? Crazy. So zero seconds. We're going to go ahead and launch another missile. There we go. So let's see if anyone has shot at us. Not yet. All right. So... We might have to wait a bit to, for someone to, you know, see my message for help. Hopefully they do help us out. Um, but we will cure some more people. Um, you again. Oh, I have to wait. Oh, so like I said, I think I got hit with a missile. So let's see. I did. So when you get hit with a missile, the cooldown is a little longer on your side. So it's a minute for if you get hit by a missile. If you send out a missile, it's 20 seconds. If you get hit by a missile, it is one, about one minute, two minutes maybe. 
So that is how that works. So if I don't get hit again, I can send out a missile. So that's that's how um, spamming gets avoided. So let's go back here because I can't do anything if people are sending missiles at me nonstop. But uh, the hope is to bring this number down. Um, but in the end, you know, it really doesn't matter because when Z Day is over, everything goes back to normal. It's just like a cartoon. So no need to worry, like it said in the guide. So, did anyone send any more missiles my way? Yes, curing 1 million. Perfect. Look at that. We're down to 4 million zombies. But uh, unfortunately, our cooldown rate reset again. Before I go, I would like to show attention to this here in my overview. As you can see right here, the president and vice president have been moved to the legislative branch. So we don't have four branches anymore. We have three. The monarchy, the legislative branch, and the judicial branch. Um, so the president and vice president being part of the Senate gives them both a vote in the Senate. So instead of 101 there are 102 seats and then the tiebreaker is the chancellor so 103 votes so the chancellor gives 103 votes so there's technically 103 seats so let me go ahead and make that change um so there's 103 seats in the senate of von julia so with that, let's go ahead and see. No one, oh yeah, no, I got shot again. So I can't shoot again, we're back. We're down two, three million. So once they stop shooting missiles at me, I can shoot missiles at them. So since I got hit with a cure missile, I can't really do anything. So let's go ahead and answer some issues. So let's go ahead and do this one. All right, we have a four-parter. Okay, so the issue at hand, jailhouses rocked. A controversial concert at the nation's largest penitentiary headlined by guitarist Ronnie Dollarmark went awry after he began playing his newest song, Costa Rico Prison Blues. Bided by the anti-establishment message, the inmates became increasingly rowdy, resulting in a massive cell block riot. Inmates across the country have followed suit, with nationwide prison riots plunging the system into chaos. Alright, so here's the debate. Number one, Von Hula prison guards need immediate support, gasped Yoko Jobrani, head of the Von Hula Department of Corrections. We're being completely overrun. There's no way we can contain these riots with our current personnel numbers. I don't care if you need to take police off the streets. If something isn't done, we're going to have multiple prison breaks on our hands. Okay. Number two, that won't be enough, booms General Daenerys Quimby, entering your office with her firing squad behind him. We can't afford to hold back. At this point, these inmates should be considered enemy combatants and will be dealt with extreme prejudice. Soldiers are waiting at the ready. Just give the order. All right. Number three, a non-violent solution is still perfectly attainable, beams Ingram Wallowitz, head of Parental Watchdog Group. If that detestable musician had never thought to poke the dog's nest, None of these riots would have occurred in the first place. That type of music is too much trouble for its own good. Wouldn't you agree? If their inspiration is re removed, inmate riots will naturally lose motivation. All right, and then number four. Perhaps y'all should have listened to the concerns of these inmates, sarcastically ponders Ronnie Dollarmark, having been taken in for questioning. That prison was a powder keg. Something was gonna happen. I just happened to be the spark. It's never too late to make a difference. Sit down with both sides and shut up and listen. Let these inmates' voices be heard and let them control the conversation for a change. All right, so. So for this issue, I was gonna do this. Then they gave me this choice. And I'm gonna lean towards this choice. So here is a talk point. Solid gold toilets are Von Hooler Prison's least expensive furnishing. Oh gosh, I wonder what's more expensive. And then here are 
the headlines, demonstration ends in reasonable discussion, handshakes. Um, I'm no hero, says heroic subscriber. And then you can read the rest. And here are the recent trends. All right. The issue. An old supporter of yours has recently passed on, leaving a quite sizable plot of land to you in his will, but only under a rather unusual condition, that a site be developed into a coliseum for hosting gladiatorial fights and other bloody spectacles. Interesting. So the debate. Yes, yes, cries Marlene Jansen, waving a wooden sword enthusiastically. You've got to do this, man. Gladiatorial fights are like the ultimate in spectator sports, and it doesn't just have to be people. We could pit man against dog, blade against claw, nothing to their name but their wits and their stamina. You would have to pay people a lot to risk their lives doing this, but I bet you'd earn a whole lot more from merchandise and wagers and stuff. Okay. Second. That's just sick, says Solomon Pushkin, president of the Kill Violence Now Association. I don't believe you'd find anyone willing to watch actual people tearing each other apart. It's savage and horrible. It's even worse than boxing. Violent sports should be outlawed for the sake of this country's moral integrity. I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'm ashamed you're even considering this. And number three, actually, we could use this to our advantage, whisper, whispers Chief of Police Ashwin Winters. Why not just force convicted criminals to fight for the amusement of the public they'll be paying for their crimes contributing to society and totally freeing us of having to build jails to throw their useless hides in well i don't want to go that extreme here so we have a choice we can go along with this or we could go along with this with criminal or we just totally outright ban it but as a government body i would love this sizable plot of land so we can exploit it and just build the Colosseum on like a small part of that land and then the rest we'll have for the government. So let's go ahead and do number three. Give criminals a chance to let their anger out and maybe free themselves. Who knows? So we'll choose number three. Criminals are thrown to the dogs to repay their debt to society. Um, our civil rights fell from good to average and the Von Hula economy rose from struggling to fragile so our economy is doing better relatively right so let's go ahead and check if we have any cards no we don't so there you go ladies and gentlemen i have introduced the special event that happens year round z day or zombie day and we've answered some issues and i showed you a change that i made to avon julia so let's end things off by seeing if we can send a missile and help somebody out this person has zero zombies which is great um so let's go ahead and help wood pigeon of the texo pepsi will send a missile their way There we go, curing 42 million, so hopefully that helps out. All right, so before I end the video for real, Z Day is over and I would like to give you an update on how things went. So one of the things I did was I moved Juan Julia from the South Pacific to my own region called Auroron. If you want to join, go search up Auroron, just because it was safer. Um, but with that, after Z Day was finished, we ended up with 3 billion people still alive, but we did have some zombies. And then, while in the South Pacific, there were people killing the zombies, which I really didn't want to do. So that's why I have some dead survivors. Um, that's another reason why I switch to my own region that I founded called Auroron is because people started sending zombies after me, which is fine. It's all fair and good in this game But you know, I wanted to be safe. So yeah, this these are our stats as you can see this is uh, Chart shows this is how many survivors we had at the beginning and then we dipped right here, dip, and then we started growing again. And then this one is the zombies. And then these are the 
the exterminate zombies option. So the dead survivors or dead zombies. And then when you put it all together, it looks like that. So not bad, um, but I did have to change regions to my own region called Auroron. Like I said, if you want to join it, Auroron. Um, it is technically a puppet storage, but you know, if we get more people that, that are active, maybe we'll do something. So yeah, this is how Von Julia did in the 11th annual Z Day. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe for more awesome content, and I'll see you in the next video. The Supreme Emperor King out.